Phil, and today we're gonna make the ultimate, most extreme, most overhyped, most intense nachos you've ever never had because you didn't have these ones because you don't know how to make it until after you watch this video. We're gonna make a tomatillo verde salsa. This is a, a tomatillo. It has a husk. You gotta peel that off. See? Do that. Ten tomatillos. I'm gonna peel all of them. What a pain. We got two jalapenos, which we're just gonna have. Actually, I need to chop the tomatillos too, but we'll get to that. We can crush our garlic to make it easier to peel. Three cloves. And the onion. I mean, probably half an onion. Having is probably fine. And as tomatillos, we're just gonna cut them in half lengthwise. That's what they look like on the inside. All right, got it in a bowl. A little, little oil. Toss it. We're gonna just move it around with the hand and put it on a pan. Maybe break that onion up a little bit. Spread it out. Okay. The oven's at 325 because we're cooking that pork. And I'm just gonna literally throw it on top of top of my drip pan. So I don't know how long it takes. So we'll let you know. All right. So here's our our stuff with the juice. We're gonna pour that in to the pot, and we will add some liquid. So we'll just add a little bit of water. Just enough for us to be able to blend it together. Oh shit, I should have more things, such as cilantro. I'm gonna add some lime too. That's a handful. Limes. This is half a lime. And some salt. And let's blend. Be careful. I'm doing a terrible job. Just being a general idiot here. A regular blender would make more sense. I'm too lazy to go get it. Just because it could have been done doesn't mean it needed to be done. <laughs> Maybe I added too much, too much water. A little more salt. Yeah, it's good. Get some chips. That's not enough. But it is enough for the first layer. Shit, where'd my cheese go? This is layer one. Okay, um, the hike up my pajama pants. Let's get some carnitas on this layer. We made this today, click here. That's the first layer. Beans, 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 beans. Beans! It's f down here. Beans, you can eat them cold out of the can. If you're a hobo. We're gonna do it now. No. That sounds lovely. Wash them. You can use part of them. Well, the first layer. All right, all right, all right. More chips. You're making this for company. You can use the dump method and just spread them out a little bit. I'm having a wonderful time. All right, I hope that's sufficient. Otherwise, we got problems. All right, a little more pork. Just, just sprinkle it in your beans. Dee -dee for everyone. All right, uh, mix well. Uh, let's use our Nessie ladle. Clark, it's like a sea monster. It's cute. Drizzle with the salsa. There's a f***ing spoon in there. <laughs> Look what I found. A spoon! All right, let's put some veggies with a handful of onions. Jalapenos, you're doing great. Throw them on in there. Some tomatoes and green onions. Okay, and now the important part. All the cheese. I think we need more cheese, what do you think? That one was Mexican, this one's sharp cheddar. Oh man, look at that, that's beautiful. Here we go, baby. This could feed like 20 people. I said 350, but I think I'm gonna crank it. The broil! Cause I'm impatient. So fresh. Chop, chop, chop. Okay. While your nachos are cooking, you may take the opportunity to do the first step, which you've meant to do many times. And sometimes you don't remember. Sometimes you have coffee and it's like an endless stream of energy. It's like the energy is on and the pain is gone. I want to take this time to let you know we finally decided a name for the mug. And sorry, it's not one that any of you picked, even though you all were very creative, wonderful people, and there were some great examples names but I can't remember any of them but we we have the we have the finalized name this mug I'm christening it holy shit it cooked so fast what the broiler's too fast holy shit they cook too fast oh, those, those chips are torched they're not look how torched those are they're just a, it's caramelized it's good it's that's fine. browned it's fine it's boiling shut the f up all right the nachos are a little bit burnt but that's okay gonna put this avocado in a whiskey glass for transport. Try and tell a story, now everything's fucked. I'm cold. I don't care. Here's some avocado. It's delicious. Put it wherever you want. Do a better job. Now we're gonna add some lettuce. Maybe just around the outside. 
This is like, like, to pretend that there's something healthy involved, okay? Nice job, everyone. We need some sour cream. Some sour cream. You just do it in lofts, okay? That looks good. If you got one of those squeeze bottles, you can make a fancy design. Good. A little bit of Valentina sauce and just some parts. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. And just a lime for the hell of it. Lord! What do you think, folks? Wow! Good enough to eat. Oh, you could add cilantro, but who, who the f cares at this point? I'll do it. That's <laughs> just a big glob of it. Perfect! That's how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. That took no time at all. It's so good! Mmm! It's what I always wanted. You're the best. I'm about to cook around. Mmm! Mm. Oh, damn, they're really good. It's still good. Well, that is how you do it. Also, I need to finish my story about this mug. I don't want to now. Wait, another day. <laughs> another day. Bye-bye.